Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premier Pro Tips, and I'm here with another video tutorial. Um, this one is a viewer requested video. Um, it's how to make a spotlight type of effect. Um, so maybe you have some video of of someone on stage, and you want to give it that look or something. I don't know. the The options are limitless, but um, but yeah. So someone suggested it, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, this is sort of, sort of an advanced type of effect, but um, it's, it can be hard to figure stuff like this out on your own. But like once you follow it step by step, it's pretty easy. So um, like any other effect, you're gonna want to go into the effects panel, and then under video effects, you want to go to I believe it's under generate. Yeah, under generate, it's called circle. So you drag and drop that right on the clip, and then uh what we get is a circle obviously now you go to the drop down in the effect controls and um, first what you want to do is you want to press invert circle so instead it changes it the circle to black and then for color you want to go to black and then um, you want to go into the blending mode and you want to choose darken so um, right now we just have this empty circle and we can adjust it by um, when you click on the actual effect right here right there this pops up and you can move it to wherever you want um, and then we can obviously make the radius larger um, let's see you, you want to turn down the opacity because obviously we don't want it completely dark like that unless you're going for that sort of effect but in most cases you want to tone this down um, this is really preference so I'll maybe go to 77 percent that looks alright um, you can also feather the edges if you want it to look a little more realistic just right here where it says feather you press the drop down then it says feather output and uh, you can give it a little bit of a feathered look I think I'm gonna um, make it a little darker by increasing the opacity okay so that looks about right. And then, uh, just like any other effect, you can also keyframe it. So I guess I can do that for you guys right here. Um, let me first... I don't want to keyframe all of it, so I'm just going to shorten this so I don't have to do too, too much. Okay. Okay, so I'll just keyframe this really quickly. Um, you want to make sure that your clip is selected. And then um, at the first frame, we want to adjust it so it's in the right position. So we want to write on him. I click on the center, and then I'm just going to move a couple frames forward, and then uh, reposition it, and then just keep on repeating this process of moving forward and repositioning. When keyframing, like stuff like skateboarding, it works out pretty nicely because in general they're moving at a pretty constant speed so it's not too choppy actually right there since uh, since he's doing sort of an up like he's moving on the y-axis and x-axis you want to uh, make sure that the intervals between your keyframes are shorter so that it follows him better because um, he's moving a lot more sporadically so if you want it to look more accurate you want uh, you want to do intervals smaller intervals okay just about finished here and then I'll just render it Okay, that looks about good. Whoops. So then I can just minus that off. And then I'm going to render it really quickly so you guys can see the final product. Um, while this is rendering, I just want to let you guys know um, that just like this video, just how this video is suggested by a viewer, um, it's as simple as that. You ask a question, and if I know how to do it, I'll make a tutorial on it. Um, so please leave suggestions. I'm sorry about that noise. <laughs> I'm sort of running out of ideas. Um, 
So yeah, just leave a comment or you can private message me. Always feel free to comment or private message me. Um, what else? I voted today. Um, not gonna go into details about that because nobody wants to hear that. Uh, yeah, let's see how this looks. Yeah, so the keyframing is a little choppy. I probably should have gone with smaller intervals. Like there's some points where it's not centered on him. So, but um. You can also adjust the radius of it so that uh, maybe when he was farther away, like there, the the um, the light can look smaller, and then when it's up here, it could be larger. But that's all just keep more keyframing. Um, if if this wasn't very clear, if the whole keyframing process wasn't very clear, please look at my most recent video, at least the most recent video right now, like the video before this. Um, cause that's about how to keyframe, um, and it's sort of a complicated process to explain. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, if you found the video helpful, please like the video, subscribe for more, and I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips. Thanks for watching, guys.